Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and this tutorial is based on creating teardrop which is coming under the uh, flange drop down in the walls toolbar in generative sheet metal design workbench in Kitsia V5. There are two ways of invoking the uh, teardrop. One is by going to walls toolbar and we have the flange drop down here. Select the third option that is a teardrop. And the next option is to go to walls, sh uh, swept walls and teardrop. So teardrop name comes from the uh, shape of the sheet metal component it gives out as the output. So I'll click on the teardrop option and I'll click on the edge. So a teardrop is similar to a hem with the only difference that the flat wall of the teardrop will be inlined at an angle. So by default the basic option is going to be selected in the flange drop down list and uh, as a result the width of the teardrop feature created will be equal to the width of the selected edge. <coughs> I'll be explaining you to work on the limited option in the uh, next tutorial and we have a couple of options over here as a length, radius, spine and uh, trim. So length option is used to increase and decrease the length. So how it looks like, I'm going to show it from the side view. So as you can see over here, when I increase the length, you can see that this particular portion uh, will be remained attached with the uh, base wall, whereas uh, the inclination goes on increasing and decreasing when I increase and decrease the length. And you have the radius. And the radius also keeps increasing and decreasing. So you can specify the radius according to your requirement. And uh, you have an option called as uh, propagate. This option is used to select the tangential edges. So if you don't have any tangential edges, uh, it's not going to propagate. So you have an option to trim the support or without trimming the support. So I'm going to select the trim support and I'll click OK. And your teardrop is being created. So that's about creating the tray drop in the basic option in the generated sheet metal design workbench in PCRV5. So hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching.